It's starting. There are kids in this world who are different. Special. I think it's a hoverboard. They look like us and they act like us. But they are not us. Your mother nature. Who wants a selfie with the Grim Reaper? There's a girl flying in the water. Find the treasure. I she belongs to the world of the good. It's a broken locket, exactly like mine. Dog, run! GZN shows. Mars Hour. Imagination amplified. Hold steady, crew. Quiet. I can't see anything through the fog, Captain. They're out there. Pirates. Waiting. What do we do? Stay quiet. Maybe they'll float on by. What if they come aboard? If they come aboard, start saying your goodbyes. What was that? Steady. Steady. Hold. Swords at the ready. Pirates, R. Take the ship. Ching ching. Find the gold. No prisoners. James, what did I say about pirate swords and the dinner table? Broccoli, pizza. Seriously, Mom. And don't even think about picking it off. Good mothers make their kids eat veggies, and I'm the best. Everyone tells me so. Right. I every soggy stop. At a boy. Hey, listen, after dinner, I need you to change out the bedding in rooms 8 through 15 in case we get guests for the weekend. Tonight? But I was going to go exploring on the beach with my metal detector. Pretty soon, all the summer people will be out in Montauk, and the beaches will get crowded, and... And you'll still be stuck helping me keep the motel afloat. That always said, when you see adventure, grab it by the hand. I know you think your father was the adventurous one, and I'm the one with the rules. What is that? Sounds like an armada. Hand me Dad's spyglass. James, where are you going? To see what's going on out on the water. Look at all those boats. What are they doing out there? What's with all the searchlights? Keep searching. In the air, something's happening tonight. I feel it in my boat. They must be looking for something in the water. Or someone. James. James, what are you doing? Heading to the beach to get a better look. Why are you taking your backpack and your metal detector? Dad said, always be prepared for what you're not prepared for. I won't be late. I can't see anything out there. Oh well. Maybe we'll look for some buried treasure. Come on, metal detector. Let's find some treasure. Mom could use some good news. <sighs> Must have been so much cooler on this beach hundreds of years ago. Just the sea and the sand. Why is the ground shaking? What's that noise?
BYU Radio presents Treasure Island 2020, a reimagined audio adventure based on the classic novel by Robert Louis Stevenson. Episode 1, Billy Bow. Okay, not weird at all. The sky lights up like the biggest lightning ever, and the guy dressed like a pirate is lying on the beach, and... That's it. Just keep leaning on me. We're almost there. Good thing I had water in my backpack. I'm James, by the way. James Hawkins. What's your name? Uh, Billy. Billy Bones. Billy Bones? Uh, where am I? This is my family's motel. The Admiral Benbow, right on the ocean. The ocean. No, no, please, James, hide me. Do you know who's on those boats out there? Flint. Flint. No, 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 it couldn't be. Come inside. I'll get you towels. James, where have you? Uh, uh, Mom, this is Mr. Bones. Billy Bones. Uh, where be the man of the family? You're looking at her. James, can I talk to you? Okay, where did you find this person who's dressed like a pirate and dripping water all over my office? Oh, oh. sorry. He was lying on the beach. He must have fallen off the pirate party boat, the Jolly Roger. Uh, He's really out of it. What be this? Uh, Oh, oh. I can see that. Sorry. Can we give him a room? We're not running a charity. Yeah, Billy Bones pays his own way. Are those... Real gold coins? You calling me a liar, boy? No, no, of course not. I just want to help you. Just a moment, Mr. Bones. James, tell me how you found him again. Does it matter? Mom, let's face it. The vacancy sign has been on for two weeks. And I know we're behind on payments to the bank. James. What if those coins are real? That's what I'm afraid of. What? One night, Mr. Bones. Yes! I'll be needing a view of the sea in case they come looking for me. Here you go, Mr. Bones. Room 13. 13? Tis a bad omen, it is. Okay. Um, if you need Wi-Fi, the password is Benbo hashtag 18. What's a Wi-Fi? And what's this square box made of glass? The TV? I know it's not big, but it gets most of the channels. Here's the remote. Just push this button. Damn! What sorcery is this? I can change the channel. How did all those demons get in there? Ah! Come out, G! You hate his spawn! What are you doing? Come out and face me! You'll smash the TV! Here, um, I'll turn it off! Ah. <clears throat> Thank you. Mr. Bones? Billy? Where do you come from? Out there. You said someone was looking for you. Are you in trouble? What's it to you? Mm. Are you one of them, boy? Have they made you sign the oath in blood? No, I mean, no, sir. I mean, I just want to help. Aye. You seem like a good lad, James. And I'm in your debt. (sighs) But I'm weary from army travels. Let me get 40 winks, and tomorrow you'll tell me more of this strange new land of yours. New land? Here. Take these coins. But you already paid my mom. Keep a lookout, young James. Keep a lookout for the one-legged seafaring man. One-legged seafaring man? Okay. Good night, Billy Bones. Showers and thunderstorms today with strong sub- How's your new friend? Sleeping. You should do the same. I'll finish locking up. Mom, are there still 
pirates in the world? <laughs> well, if you've seen our tax bill this month... I mean real ones. Like, with parrots and peg legs and buried treasure. Buried treasure? Yeah, the kind worth a fortune. Enough to save the motel. <sighs> James. Uh-huh. We're gonna get through this. I, I know sometimes it seems like the burden is too much, but we'll make it together. We have to. But mom. Go to bed, sweetheart. And try to dream about something less adventurous. Huh? What's that? Way to go, James. Scared by a branch scraping against your bedroom window. Are they out there? Ah! Mr. Bones, what are you doing in my room? Don't come any closer. Answer me, boy. Are they out there? Is who out there? Dim. That's who. I'm as good as dead if they find me. That's why I had to swim for it. Before they cut me throat from ear to ear. Who's after you? Why? Gold. More gold than you can dream of in a thousand years. It's all right here. Right here. On a dead man's chest. A tattoo! It covers your whole chest! Hear me, lad. It's more than a tattoo. It's a map. The map of an island. And there in the center, marked by a cross as red as blood, is where you'll find the treasure. Treasure. Billy? Mr. Bones? It was just a dream. Right? It's me, Mr. Bones. James. Are you alone? Yes, of course. Can I come in? No. But I need to ask you- Where's my key? Your key to the room? It's this card right here. I'm talking about the key I had round me neck. Key? But I- If you stole it, I'll turn you inside out until I find it. I don't have it, I swear! Where is it? Where the blast is it? I must have lost it on the beach. Find it and bring it to me. I'll make it worth your while. First, tell me who you're afraid of and why. Find it, I said, and be quick about it, or you'll find me a grave man. A grave man indeed. Your eggs are getting cold, James. Sorry, Mom. I'm in a hurry. Hand me my backpack. James? Where, where are you going? Fear not, brave lady. I'm bound for adventure. And to find the missing key. That key must be here somewhere. Unless someone found it first. Oh great, City Kids Surf School. Listen up, dudes. You gotta learn to paddle before you can surf. He should not have said that. Oh man. Is that a metal detector? For finding buried treasure, or whatever. Why are you sitting here playing a video game when everyone else is learning to surf? Because, unlike my sister Morgan out there on the board, I prefer to see my 13th birthday. I'm Max. Max Goodwin. No, no, don't. Take that one. That wave is too big. Not bad. Why didn't she learn to surf like that? That would be today. Morgan's a fast learner. Oh, you see that, Maxie? Told you I could do it. Hey, no, don't, don't get sand in my glasses. Sorry. Oh, hey, Max, you made a friend. Oh, my twin brother isn't bumming you out too much. He's not good with the outdoors. Twins? Fraternal, not identical. 
Obviously. And you are? James. James Hawkins. I saw you surf. You're good. For a city girl. <laughs> the water does all the work. I just have to stand up. So you live here year-round? What's it like? Quiet. We used to live in Brooklyn while my dad was designing the new Statue of Liberty Museum. On Liberty Island? I heard it's opening soon. Cool. So you moved because he finished the project? No. He died. Oh. I, I'm really sorry. Yeah. My uncle Harold gave us an old motel to run. Me and my mom. That was nice of him. I guess. It's barely surviving, but at least I have the beach. And your metal detector. So, you're renting for the summer? Our mom and dad run a big financial company in the city. They pretty much work all the time, even in the summer, so they sent us to spend a couple months here with our Aunt Martha. They sent you away? No, 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 they sent us here for culture. Martha was planning all these amazing activities to help us grow. To keep us busy, you mean. Next up, French cooking class with a real French chef. That does sound boring. Exactly! What about fun? What about adventure? That's what I'm looking for. Come on, Morgan. Today we're making pot de creme. Sounds adventurous to me. I'm going back to my search. <laughs> so long, Hawkins. Maybe we'll see you around. I found it! I found the key! Okay, it's a big old brass key. So? So it belongs to a pirate! A Pirate? Come on, come on, I'll show you. Hi, Mom. This is Morgan and... Nice to meet you both. James, make sure to change the sign outside to no vacancy. Seriously? As in every room is booked? I'll explain later. Your new friends can help you bring our guests fresh towels. Let the adventures begin. Max. Come on, I'll introduce you to Billy Bones. What's with the giant backpack, Hawkins? I carry it with me everywhere. It's got a flashlight, compass, first aid kit, lots of other adventure stuff. Always be prepared for what you're not prepared for. That makes no sense. It makes total sense. My dad... Never mind. This is Billy Bones' room. Your pirate is staying in room 13. You're not superstitious, are you? I don't believe in superstition. Or pirates. I'm not saying he's like a real pirate pirate pirate, although he dresses like one. But this key we found buried in the sand is real enough. It looks like it could open a treasure chest. Hello? Mr. Bones? It's me, James. James Hawkins. It's okay, Hawkins. We can meet your pirate friend another day. Like maybe never. Wait, I'm telling you, he's staying here and... <gasps> Someone's coming to the door. Hello. Wait! You're not! Can I help you, son? This is your pirate in a black suit. <laughs> I've been called worse. Kincaid's the name. You must be Jim. James. Your mother was kind enough to rent out the motel to me and my team for a few days. This is my associate, Lena. Charmed. Whoa, look at all the equipment they've got in there. The thing that looks like a stingray, that's a ZX-3000 underwater drone. It could go all the way to the bottom of the ocean. My brother knows his drones. He made one for the citywide science fair. One first prize. Smart kid. Yes, we're explorers. Isn't that right, Lena? Yes. Explorers. Of the sea. The boats with the searchlights. What was that, son? Nothing. Is that a map of Liberty Island on the wall? I don't see why that's your business. Hawkins, didn't you say that your dad worked at- No. <laughs> uh, so, Jim, your mom said you're a friend of the former occupant. Mr. Bones seems to have checked out before we arrived. You wouldn't know where we might find him, would you? Not a clue. Never even talked to the guy. Really? Because your mother gave me the impression that you invited him to stay here. What's that you're holding behind your back? Nothing. Just something we found on the beach. Driftwood. Um, enjoy your stay, Mr. Kincaid. Come on, guys. Do me a favor, Max. 
Reach into my backpack and grab the N and the O for the no vacancy sign. You keep the letters in your pack? I keep everything in my pack. Why did you lie to that Kincaid guy, Hawkins? I didn't lie. You kinda did. (sighs) Last night, before I found Billy on the beach, there were these military-style boats. They were searching for something in the water. You think they were looking for Billy Bones? Whoa, check out that black SUV. Tinted windows, little bells and whistles. A serious machine. I have a feeling I know who's driving it. Hello again, kids. Something else I can help you with, Mr. Kincaid? Extra towels, maybe? My associates and I are headed back to our laboratory. Lena, hand the young man our business card. Here you go. If you happen to run into your friend, Billy Bones, give us a call. Those vanity plates. A skull and crossbones. Let me see that business card. High seas, underwater search and recovery. I knew it. He's the Frank Kincaid. Who's Frank Kincaid? He and his team roam the world, seeking sunken ships and lost treasure. They call themselves explorers. Other people say that they're modern day pirates. Pirates? Whatever they find on the ocean floor, they take for themselves. I had a dream last night. Billy came to my room. And he said there was a treasure. He was terrified that someone was after him. So? So what if it wasn't a dream? You don't think. I think we need to find Billy Bones before Kincaid's pirates do. Arr, welcome aboard, Jolly Roger. This is your skipper, Captain Davy Jones. Step right up the gangplank, for you hearty. Excuse me, sir? Uh, sorry, kids. You gotta be 21 years of age or older to board the Pirate Fun Cruise. Uh, it's the law. Ah, it's the law. It's the law. Robot Parrot. How original. We're looking for a pirate. Ha! Ah, then you've come to the right place. Uh, but step aside so the passengers can board. He calls himself Billy Bones. Mm, never heard of him. Back down the hatches, ladies. We're going to party like it's 1799. Ah, 1799. But he's a member of your crew, right? Listen, kid, I, I don't know any Billy Bones, and if the cops catch you on this tub, I lose my license. Now beat it. Ah, beat it, beat it. Billy Bones doesn't work on the Jolly Roger. Why was he dressed like that? Morgan, we're going to be late for Chef Louis. Look! There! That storefront with all the old stuff in the window? That's Mr. Arbuckle's antique shop. Unless there's another weirdo running around dressed like Captain Hook, I'm guessing that... Billy Bones! Sorry, man. I get fake doubloons all the time. This is Spanish gold, you cur. As real as I am. Billy! James, lad, tell this son of a sea dog who I be. That's Billy Bones, Mr. Arbuckle. A guest of the Admiral Benbow Motel. He's a sailor. And a cook. <clears throat> Max! Shh! Well, you and your mom have been good customers. I suppose I can give him something for these coins. What be this green paper money? That would be cash. Looks worthless to me. Okay, thanks, Mr. Arbuckle. Is he all right, James? I was nearly killed getting my hands on this gold. It's an Louis, insult it on. is. Let's get out Green of here. paper. Who is that no, in the picture? No, we just what? Where are you taking here. me, children? Yeah, no, yeah, let's not no, bother no, the out, out of anymore. Must be satisfied. It's Arbuckle, from the antique shop. That guy you were looking for, the pirate? He was just here. Billy, there's something I need to tell you. When I went to your room before... First things first, lad. Who are your mates? Billy Bones. Uh, I'm Morgan Goodwin, and this is my twin brother, Max. Arr, ahoy there, matey. Max? Ah, 
Glad to make your acquaintance. Any friend of Hawkins here? Gah! Careful, Billy! You have to look both ways! These blasted carriages, driving around with no horse like ghost ships. And the giant mechanical birds are even worse. You mean the airplane? Is he completely out of his mind? That's what I'm trying to find out before Kincaid finds him first. Who, who's that you say? Frank Kincaid. Is he a friend of yours? He asked if we knew where you were. What did you tell him? Nothing. He gave us this card. Here it is. T- turn over the card, lad. The black spot. But what does it mean? It's their final warning. What Captain Flint couldn't do to me, they mean to finish. Who's Captain Flint? Who's Captain Flint? Of the cursed ship, the walrus. Just the bloodiest buccaneer who ever sailed the seven seas. And now this Kincaid knows where I came from. If they catch me, my life won't be worth a broken sand dollar. Is it about the treasure? What treasure? Who said anything about treasure? You did. In my dream. But it wasn't a dream, was it, Billy? It was real. As real as this key we found on the beach. Give me that! Now you listen to me, James Hawkins. And the rest of you, too. Forget you ever heard the word treasure. Forget the name Billy Bones. You never met me. Sounds good to me. Stop it, Max. Billy? Where do you come from? I fled the one-legged man. But once I was at sea, a great storm came as if it was from nowhere. And the swirling sea did her best to swallow me alive. Swallow you alive? James, look! Kincaid's black SUV is headed this way. The skull and crossbones. I'm done for! Why, if it isn't Billy Bones, you're a sight for sore eyes. And you're the devil himself. Stay away from me. Stay away, I say. No, no. We just want to ask you some questions about the map and about the vortex. Did he see Vortex? We have to help Billy! Stop walking away, Billy! I know what you want, but, but, but you'll never get it! Get in the car with us! Never! Get away, I tell Billy, you! Billy! Watch out! There's a car! Billy! Quick, Billy! Back in the car! Billy! I've got you. You're gonna be okay, Billy. The treasure. Fine. The treasure island. But where is it? Not where, lad. Find your next adventure at gzmshows.com. Shh, it's starting. GZM Shows. Imagination Amplified.